Hey Virgo, what's up? It's Anomaly. It's about 3 in the morning. We're in those whispering hours. This reading is going to be about what it is that you need to know as we have already stepped into July. Uh, this is for the first half. What Virgo needs to know, Spirit, please keep this reading protected. Um, and please keep all viewers new and uh, returning protected through these readings and able to hear the message clearly. Please allow me to deliver the messages as far as clearly as possible. Um, Virgo, it looks like you're showing up as the hermit. You know, some things dealing with choices and decisions of another, choices and decisions of giving, I, I, I was like giving in, I guess, but it's not really giving in, you know, it's more like, um, putting aside what you were holding back and putting it towards whatever it is that you're desiring to uh, create something fruitful. Um, as a, you know, you guys got some type of love coming in or some type of new perspective of love, maybe of a loved one or someone that may be a family or friend or someone from a past relationship or something of the nature. All right, on the bottom of the deck before we start, you do have the Page of Cups. Doo -doo -doo. Let's begin, Spirit. What does can oh, I said Cancer. Oh. Some of y'all could be dealing with the Cancer, or you could have Cancer highly aspected in your chart, Virgo. Again, this is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Spirit. What does Virgo need to know in the beginning of July? You know, the first two to three weeks of July. You have the star card. You have the empress. Hangman, suspend the person. Oh, this does not belong here. The eight of swords in reverse. King of cups. World card. The Seven of Cups. All right, too many. But that one stayed down. So the Queen of Cups. Okay, so there's counterparts. We have the King and Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Sorry, I'm going to try to reposition that camera just a little bit for you. Boom. All right, but in this situation, this King of Cups is facing in the opposite direction. It looks like with this Seven of Cups here and the World card, some type of ending of maybe games or a facade or wearing a mask is coming into play. Maybe somebody's choosing to walk away or, cho or you know, choosing to turn to something else. Or some, this, you know, this individual, this King of Cups may not know that this Queen of Cups, you know, does not have these masks on, but these you have counterparts out here. Um, you have three major arcana, the star, the empress, and the world card. Above with the star, the empress, you also have the suspended person, and then you have the eight of swords in reverse. So there's something that is um, probably mentally hard to get through. It could feel like you're attached to this thought or idea or this concept, and it's like you can't necessarily break free. You may even feel that this particular um, concept or thought process is what keeps you in a, a, a stuck position and whatnot. But with the Eight of Swords in reverse, this could also be some type of bad conversation about you, which manifests this uh, suspended person, uh, this hangman position for you, Virgo. And then we have the Star and the Empress out here. So, um, Let's see, where do we start? I guess let's clarify, what is this Eight of Swords spirit for Virgo? Eight of Swords spirit for Virgo. Thank you. All right, it's the High Priestess. It's something that you have, you're intuitive about, or you have some type of knowledge or gain some type of knowledge through, whether it be your own intuition or you going to speak to others. It isn't, you, you know, you could have went and saw a tarot reader, you could have been listening to a reader, or you could do it yourself. But you could also just through having conversations with people, feel the situation out, and know that something 
you know, it's a little bit off. Um, you know how sometimes you wait around people, or, or like, okay, the other day my grandmother called me, and, you know, I was with my little sister, and, you know, oh, I, I wanted you to get this for me for Walmart, and I'm like, okay, well, I, I, I wasn't, you know, I wasn't in Walmart, Walmart at the time you called me, I was in the movie theater, and then they turned to, okay, well, where are you going now? Well, where are you at now? Where are you on your way to? And it's like, I don't want to tell someone else's business because that's not my business necessarily to tell. We're just chilling and vibing. It's not supposed to be like a police investigation, you know? And so I was just like, well, we're going here and here. And he's like, well, you didn't have to say it like that. And it's just like, whoa, I, I didn't say it like anything. And then uh, I didn't, did I say something wrong? Okay, you know what, just bye, bye. And then you turn to the other person who witnessed that conversation, right? And you're just like, so... Was I rude? Was I like, you know, not, like, was I nasty to, you know what I'm saying, the individual on the phone? And they're like, no, I didn't hear that from you, you know? And it's just like, but that might, that sits on your brain for a little bit, at least on my brain, where I'm like, did I offend my grandmother? Like, if I did, what did I do to offend you? And why can't we just talk about it? You know what I'm saying? So it's like feeling a situation out when you know that something isn't right or you, you, you just may know that you have conversation that's going on surrounding you about you and like with this card um again this isn't a card this deck i don't even know why this is in here but um this the eight of swords and it's in the reverse it's like it all surrounds you no matter if it's up right like this the card still looks the same it's just that in reverse it just might not be so nice of a conversation that's uh, being had or nice words that's coming out thank you for the clarity spirit but on the bottom of the deck you do have the strength Card. the nine of pentacles and the five of swords you know in this dilemma or this situation if you remain a strong a pair you know most of you may be single or may be just very abundant you know what you've been planting the seeds you've been planting they're growing and um flourishing and whatnot and that's also bringing up your stamina because when you see the abundance of your work um, flourishing and growing and producing in the right direction, you feel good. And a lot of times, it's not hard for you to be in this five of swords anyway. Energy, I said anyway, energy. Um, this five of swords energy where you're able to, you know, basically like lay the swords down, drop the conversations, block people out that just don't serve you. Reserve, you know, keep what you need for yourself. Two swords, one sword of the year. You know what I'm saying? You have this truth here that is stated and known amongst you and these individuals over here. They got their swords laid down because there's nothing else to say at this point. We, we not vibing, we ain't talking. But you leave these two swords up here because this is this is not for everybody's business. It's not for everyone to know, you know. But it, through this, you've learned to be strong, Virgo. I'm very proud of you for that. Okay, so um, what's going on with the star and the emperor spirit? All right, we have the king of swords here. Clarifying the star and its empress. This is just background detail information. So, somebody who uh, is, I want to say, highly skilled. I don't know why, but very skillful. They're very knowledgeable. They're very wise. Um, and with, you know, maybe to some degree, you guys match an energy, like with that yellow. You know what I'm saying? Um, that yellow energy. But, it could be that this person, like, they know a lot about you. Maybe they've researched or looked into you, Virgo. Maybe this is who you're looking into. You could be looking into someone who is, seems like somewhat of an angel, or seems like an angel, or is an angel. You know, someone who embodies all of the energies of, you know, earth, wind, fire, and air. You know, the cups, the pinnacles the wands, the swords, like, and able to, uh, they're able to maintain themselves, you know, on the bottom of the deck, we still got the same cards, y'all blocking off people, places, and things, let's keep going, spirit, this is for Virgo, what is this suspension with the hangman and the eight of swords in reverse for Virgo, all right, this deals with friends and family, close ones, loved ones, those that you're supposed to be able to rejoice and care about. It seems as though maybe these individuals 
are doing things or saying things that manifest you being in this stuck position or this position of worry. Um, I can say, Virgo, before I started this reading, I shuffled each of these three decks seven times and I cut them. And then after that, I did a series of breathing where I breathed in for almost 10 to 15 seconds, held it in, and then I slowly released it. But I did this seven times. So seven can be of significance for you. It is a, a, a very, you know, spiritual number. But also, you know, maybe this could be in seven days time, seven months time passing. This could be seven friends, seven family members. This could be, you know, this could even, you know, I won't, I'm not going to say work associates because I just don't see work in this. But um, what's the deal with the Empress and the suspended person? The Queen of Pentacles. So, let's So Virgo, you could also be talking to a friend. This could also necessarily not be you, and this could be someone else. You could be this King of Swords and this masculine energy speaking to someone that you very much will respect as this Queen of Pentacles, uh, someone who can take care of their home and their household and things of that nature. And it's like you're telling them, it could be that you're telling them. And all this time is bad, it's never dry. Don't be mad because they're hearing the message now. Come on. It's for them. It's important. It could be that amongst the two of you, somebody has some type of knowledge about some type of deception from friends and family members of the other. Um, and somewhere in this, some type of bad conversation was had. Um, the Queen of Cups and, no, the World Card and the Seven of Cups. What is this? It's an ending or beginning. So you maybe had an emperor who, or somebody, a father figure, um, a boss, a judge, someone who is controlling the strings, you know, the scenes behind things. They could have been wearing a mask and chosen to stop, you know, maintaining that illusion. I'm sorry, this is how the cups, this is how the cards are. You know, to stop maintaining this illusion that doesn't, you know, that, that really isn't them, that doesn't exist, Emperor Aries energy. Um, the Queen of Cups and the Nine of, and, I mean, and the Seven of Cups, how does this Queen of Cups feel about this Seven of Cups energy? It looks like you feel good about it, like you feel like you manifested this. It looks like maybe too, as a Queen of Cups, you know what I'm saying? Maybe you were able to pour into this um, individual, this Emperor and be able to end, you know what I'm saying, something that, hmm, let's ask the cards, what is this ending? Okay, so what is this ending, the world card? What is this world card? What is this ending? Forward movement. Seven, seven could be significant to you, Virgo. I do say seven would be significant. Nine of Pentacles. The Ace of Cups. I mean, it's good for it's good. You know, whatever this ending is that happens, it allows someone to proceed forward uh, and to and to keep growing, keep flourishing, and to ultimately be able to pull from source. And you know, with that cup, the Ace of Cups, that's an overflowing cup of love. That's an overflowing cup of water. You know, and you can overwater something, but. I think maybe when we haven't put enough watering into ourselves, enough nutrients and nourishment into ourselves, it's okay to, to let the brim fill over just a little bit every once in a while. Okay. The King of Cups. Why is this King of Cups facing another way? All right, because it's some type of judgment. Please tell me more, Spirit, about this King of Cups. The Devil card, the Ace of Pentacles, and the King of Swords. I mean, the King of Pentacles. Um, so, Virgo, in this masculine energy, you could have been scared to basically provide a substantial offer. And you could have, you know what I'm saying, that could have came out 
you know, um, with this emperor being here, like maybe, you know, in this energy, you got called out for, you know, doing this, you know, seven of, seven of cups, and then, you know, you're manifesting this queen of cups, but are you, you know what I'm saying, were you, were you doing what you're supposed to do, and vice versa, you know, Virgo Feminine, did this individual, you know, actually provide what they were supposed to provide to you, or, you know, were they living in some type of state of, of, of being scared, you know what I'm saying, of allowing you to be a part of, well, I would say their world, yeah, so it's on the bottom of the deck. So it looks like, you know, there could have been some questioning to allowing you um, to be actually, you know, one with each other. King of Cups, Queen of Cups. Okay. Uh, let's see. Star and the Empress. Star and the Empress is the Queen of Pentacles. That's confirmation twice. You're doing well, Virgo. Uh, Divine Feminine in this energy. I mean, you're resonating heavy. You are aligning with spirit, you know what I'm saying? You're pouring into, not only into yourself, but even at the top, it looks like you're pouring down into this King of Cups as well. Um, but it looks like you are maintaining. And again, this King of Swords is behind this Queen of, of Pentacles. So this could be somebody that you guys don't even know about, but I, I'll ask what this King of Swords significance is um, at some point. The Empress and the Suspended Person Spirit. The World Card double confirmation for the world card these endings are coming into place you being in a stuck position virgo um you know that's over and i know that we have you know men women like on the cards and stuff but these are just energies if you operate in the in your feminine or your masculine energy that's what you're doing um i'm just trying to read the cards as best as i can someone else and, and this could be another Virgo that you're dealing with or this is the other set of Virgos like again you have the hangman which was a suspended person over here well now this person has to go through you know being like thinking about this commitment this two of cups you know this household this family this bond that went into place you know they have to they, they got to sit back and they got to think about you know what I'm saying what they've been offering with this four of cups all right, the, hang, the suspended person and the eight of swords in reverse. Okay, that's two cards. Sorry. Okay, suspended person, eight of swords in reverse. All right, we have the seven of um, of wands in reverse. So that means that whatever this is bounces back to whoever sent it. It goes back to the sender. So on the top, you have the Queen of Pentacles, the World card, and the Seven of Wands in reverse. You're no longer going to keep going in a direction that does not suit you or your household. You're going to start going up. It's only up from here, right? The Wheel of Fortune is on the bottom of the deck. In the upright, let's see what's behind it. The Four of Swords, that's spirit, prayer, meditation. That's, you know what I'm saying, coming into one with self and with spirit, alignment and whatnot. And then the Five of Swords, Five of Swords, Five of Wands, that's being passionate. That's that's people possibly even being confused about your choice and your decision about whichever step you choose to take going forward. Okay? King of Cups in the World card, Spirit. It's the Fool card, okay? Justice on the bottom of the deck. The World card and the Seven of Cups is the King of Swords again. Double confirmation on this King of Swords. This King of Swords is an Emperor as well. This King of Swords, as this Emperor, again, I feel like to some degree may have called somebody out on wearing a mask, on playing games, on, you know, trying to work trying to work the room with these options and whatnot and this person freely this king of swords freely could have came out and said it or is going to come out and say this justice card on the bottom of the deck the seven of cups and the queen of cups is the two of wands this is a decision between the both of you with the magician here and the emperor that uh, this is nice um aries energy again um there's a decision that's being made amongst you two the hermit which is your card on the bottom of the deck the Two of Cups, the Four of Wands, and the Nine of Swords. 
whatever this is, this commitment is, this connection is, this hustle, this family is it you know what i'm saying you're, you're you're working your way up out of that energy of whatever it is that you had to hide about it even though i know that the hermit is your card it still seems like this is all hidden hidden energy you know what i'm saying um and the nine of swords is you come you know coming to terms with things and bearing the cross as it comes the ace of swords on the bottom of the deck is the truth it's also a new beginning that comes out the ace of wands is also a new beginning a new passionate endeavor a partnership that you choose to go into the ace of cups is also on the bottom of the deck a new fresh start in love whether it be for yourself or with someone else and then you have the nine of swords which is an overall flourishment and abundance of self the only thing left is one more um, pentacle, nine of pentacles, one more pentacle to pop up, and you, and you what? You're at the ten overall stability, and then you have this. You have the sun card. Clarity, truth, happiness for you all if you have kids, you know, your children being able to look up and feel free and feel blissful, as well as being able to release this ten of wands, to release all these burdens and this pain and things that don't exactly have anything to do with you. So, thank you, Virgo, for chatting with me in spirit. We appreciate it. Um, like, share, and subscribe. It's a nominal. Peace.